former soca artist, now a gospel artist spreading her music from an entirely, totally different angle. Please help me welcome none other than Michelle Sylvester. I am here. <laughs> oh gosh, you well, see that tree, the tree me and me just I've walked out here. Myself, I just oh my. <laughs> have a seat, my dear. Have Thank a seat. Thank you. How are you doing? I am well. I am well. Yes, you know. Am I too far? I'm good here. You could, I should you, come. You could, you could, you could, you could. You have, you you have to doing? sample a little bit just now, but that's why I'm that, ready. That's here. why you're here. <laughs> that's, that's why I came. <laughs> I think that's why people coming on my show now. <laughs> How are you? I am good. Good nice to see you. Nice to see you. Same you same look same lovely. Here. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so Michelle, um, I remember you. <laughs> I'm, I'm I remember my you carefully. too. <laughs> I remember you from my early fetting days. Yes. And uh, yes. <laughs> music part of you were part of the band scene yes. in Trinidad Tobago. Mm -hmm. And now this song that I'm now hearing from Look you. Look at God, eh? Is a different, different yes. Michelle Sylvester. Look I'm at hearing. God. Look yeah, at God. Look at God. Tell I me, have to say that. Tell me about that journey. Ooh, it's a long story, yeah? But let me see how we, I we, get we there. Show, we have but, time? But, but, but we have the whole show, but demand not shell <laughs> Demand not shell Well, me, the Michelle Sylvester that you know, right. <laughs> um, back in the days with lots of bands, singing mm -hmm. with bands like Song Revolution, KV Charles and Inside, that's my very first band that I ever mm -hmm. been on stage with. Um, that was with Marilyn Williams at that time. Coming from that, I had an encounter and I didn't know that word back then. But I had my encounter with God on the foreshore. Coming from Dego Martin, heading to the east. I'm originally from Dego Martin. Covin Road to be ex exact, big up Covin. And going home in the east that night, I just broke down crying. Now I'm a crier, yes. But this cry was a different kind of cry, Joe. This was just me crying like, what's going on? I don't know what's happening. I just started to feel empty and that's the only way I could explain it. Me having that time with God, understanding that that's what it was at that time, just broke down crying and like saying things like, you know what, I'm going to church in the morning, please God. That's my words, eh? Now, this is me in the peak of my um, career. This is me having gigs already lined up to travel and different things. And I just feeling empty, like something, a part of me missing. Start to cry, I turned the radio on at one of the gospel stations um, that we have here and started to worship, singing the songs and just praying and saying in the morning, I'm going to church. Hey, hey, you're getting the back. And the pastor in front saying, because you know, you ain't going in front, you know, come, you're visiting, you're sleeping in the back. So I sat down in the back and the pastor was saying things like, um, he wants us to have this moment of prayer, close eyes and thing and that kind of thing. So your girl head bow like this and they praying. And I ain't really saying nothing but my eyes closed and, and, and my head bow. And I started to hear like the pastor coming closer and closer with whatever he was praying and saying. But my eyes closed. And then I felt somebody touch me on my shoulder. So in my mind, hear me, I wonder if there's God. So I looked so and opened my eyes, was the pastor. He said, you mind if I pray with you? I said, sure, no problem. He said, well, I want to take you up to the front if you, if you don't mind. Now, he don't know who I am. He don't, he, that's not the space he was in. So he don't know my songs, he don't know me. Eh, eh, so I went, I went up in front. He took off his mic, one of those thingy mic, headset thingy mics. <laughs> and he was like, I'm taking off my mic so that everybody would hear. Now, people would hear, of course, but it wouldn't be that out there. I said, sure, no problem. And he started to pray. Now in him praying, not knowing who I was, Michelle Sylvester, the soca artist, he said a lot of things. But one thing that made me break down in the people church and started crying more. He started like, crying again. Uh, again. Yes, yes. <laughs> was when he said, God doesn't want you to go back. Now remember I say he don't know who I am. So him saying that to me is like, nah. So it was like a confirmation then and there that this is what was taking place. God was calling me. And 11 years later, here I am in the kingdom. 